Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I have your world event scoring for the upcoming week of May 29th, 2023. How are you doing in the vault event? So far for me, I have 320 vault keys. I just add them all together, blah, blah, blah. I don't do the um, pity key versus the vault, the epic versus the regular. I got 320 so far. I might try for 400. Maybe 350 is more realistic, but that's solid, I would say. That's solid for me at my level, you know. It's okay. It's pretty good. I'll take it. I'll take it. But what, how many have you got? Hopefully at least like 100 or so. That's what I would hope everybody would try for, at least about 100. But uh, they did spring it on us at the last minute, so yeah. Whatever you can get, let me know in the comments. Put it down there. All right, so let's go with the scoring. Also, the chat-a-thon was amazing. Thank you so much. If, I, if you haven't heard me say thank you yet, uh, thank you again. I'm going to keep thanking you for the next few days because it was really sweet. All right, world event, a feast for a god. There are six battles that players can encounter during the event. Dynamite Goat, Moon Phoenix, Nightwing, Forest Guardian, Tinsel Tail, and Suna. The battles are randomly chosen, but they all have an equal chance of appearing on the map. Scoring, you can find the following rewards for each of the different battles you may encounter. We'll read them in the order of operation. Suna is worth four. Four cakes. Tinseltail is worth three cakes. Forest Guardian is worth six meat. Nightwing is worth five meat. Moon Phoenix is worth four meat. And Dynamite Goat is worth three meat. Each meat is worth three points, and each cake is worth seven points. The battles will drop a variable number of meat and cake on average about 1.18 times the base amount. All right, so Suna is worth 28 points. Tinseltail is worth 21 points. Forest Guardian, 18. Nightwing, 15. Moon Phoenix, 12. And Dynamite Goat, 9. So it's probably just rarity order. Like always, if you don't know base rarity order, it's mythic and then legendary and then epic and then ultra rare. And that's all you really need to know because they don't usually go under that. So Suna is a mythic. If you see a mythic troop, it's worth the most. Tinseltail, Forest Guardian, legendary. If you see those, you should pick those. Um, Nightwing, Moon Phoenix, I think are epic, and the Dynamic Goat's probably an ultra rare. Is Tinseltail legendary? I don't know, it's the only one that sounded funny, but probably is. I think it is. Um, so yeah, just pick the Mythic if you see it. If you don't see the Mythic, pick Tinseltail and her cakes. And if you uh, don't see that, pick Forest Guardian and his meat. And then after that, just pick the epics and... Ultra Rare, if you don't pick Dynamite Goat, you're good. Pick Tsuna if you see it. Pick the Mythic if you see it. If you don't see that, pick a Legendary. And don't pick Dynamite Goat. That's usually good enough. If you're trying to do exactly, I'll have the um, I'll have it on the thumbnail the, in the exact order if you're trying to do it exactly perfectly. Um, so yeah, the battles will drop a variable number of meat and cakes on average about 1.18 times the base amount. So yeah, I don't think it matters level-wise. I think this is one of those ones where you just pick the lowest level. Um, the only time you pick the higher level when it, is when it has that times 25 based on as the battles get harder thing. So yeah, that's cool. Just a rarity order, mostly. I mean, between you want to do Tinsel Tail instead of Forest Guardian if you're picking between Legendaries, and you want to do Nightwing instead of Moon Phoenix if you're picking between Epics, if you're trying to do it perfectly. Um, is there any way we can do that? Reverse ABC order would be the way to go. Because uh, Tinsel Tail is after... So T is after F, and um, N is after M. So just do it in reverse alphabetical order if you're looking at two legendaries and two epics. But yeah, that's the scoring. Uh, like, share, subscribe, consider joining. Helps a lot. Terry, get about the channel, comment below. And I'll see y'all for, of course, the scoring or the um, team video. It's Skull Damage Metal this time. So you guys are going to want to watch this um, team video. Uh, then we'll have the weekly preview going over everything else. Faction event video at reset on Tuesday. And yeah, that's what we got coming up in the next couple days. Let's move on to Nintendo Switch. I think Switch, you guys have like something we just had. I don't know for sure, but let's go over it. Um, World Event Sapphire Shard. This is the uh, World Event scoring for the upcoming week of May 29th for Nintendo Switch. World Event Sapphire Shard. There are six battles that players can encounter during the event. Fire Giant, Balder, Skymere the Lofty, Yarrow Fire Mantle, Sapphire Squad, and the Sapphire Giant. 
This event has three phases, so it's one of those. Phase one, the first two battles are the only battles battle to play, and have an equal chance of appearing. Players will need to win 15 battles here to progress to the next phase. Phase two, the first four battles are the only available battles to play, and have an equal chance of appearing. Players will need to win 15 battles here to progress to the next phase. Phase three, all six battles are now available with an equal chance of appearing. This phase continues until the end of the event. It doesn't matter too much. Um, once you get past the first, uh, you know, 30 battles, it re it doesn't matter at all. Scoring, you can find the following rewards for each of the different battles you may encounter. I'll read them in order of operation. The Sapphire Giant is worth the most, which is two barrels of ale and one Sapphire Shard. Then you have the Sapphire Squad, which is one barrel of ale and one Sapphire Shard. Then Yarl Fire Mantle with five barrels of ale. Skymir the Lofty, four barrels of ale. Boulder, four barrels of ale. And then uh, Fire Giant, three barrels of ale. Um, each barrel of ale is worth two points, and each Sapphire Shard is worth ten points. The battles against the Sapphire Squad and the Sapphire Giant will drop a variable number of barrels of ale and Sapphire Shards. Alright, so... We have... What what is that? 14 points there. 10 plus 4, 14 points for the Sapphire Giant. And then you got 12 points for the Sapphire Squad. And then you have 10 points for Jarl. And then Skymere and Balder are worth the same. They're worth 8. And then the uh, Fire Giant is worth 6. If you don't want to do this very perfectly, you could just you know go after the Sapphire Giant and do not pick the Fire Giant. Um, but they're going to probably... You know, the way the phases are, you might have to choose between things. But look out for the Sapphire Giant. If you see it, always pick it. If you don't see him, pick the Sapphire Squad. So always go after Sapphire. And then if you don't see that, Jarl is worth more than Skymere, who is worth more than Balder. Just don't pick Fire Giant. So always pick Sapphire, never pick Fire. And yeah, that is it for the scoring. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Consider joining. Helps a lot. Tear guild about the channel. Comment below. And I'll see y'all next time. Of course, Nintendo Switch, you can always look back at my older videos. If you need more information, I did a video on this world event when we had it. So just look up Sapphire Shard, world event Sapphire Shard on my channel. You could go to my channel, type in Cinecool, or just click on the, you know, you're subscribed, right? So you're going to click on my little face there. Go to my channel. There's a little search bar on my channel. It's not up at the top where you usually sh uh, search. It's down in the middle to the right, I think, in my channel. And you just put in World Event Sapphire Shard, and it'll bring up the team video for you. But yeah, that's it for today. Like, share, subscribe, consider joining. Helps a lot. Tell your good about the channel. Comment below, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.